and middle school math teacher struggling with which math concepts your students should learn prior to leaving the school year with you so that they are most successfully set up for the following year in math, this video is for you. I will also be giving you um, the opportunity to download a free checklist for my must teach standards for sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. If we don't already know each other, my name is Kathy Martin, and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. We are your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach middle school math. So what are the two to three must teach concepts for sixth, seventh, and eighth grade? Let's jump right in. I'm excited to share with you my thoughts on what students must master prior to leaving sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade. And then I'm really excited to share with you, again, my free checklist for my must teach standards. So in sixth grade, I really believe that in sixth grade, your students should master integers and fractions. Integers is so important because it really is the base, like super base foundation for seventh grade and eighth grade. If your students don't know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide negative numbers, it's going to be very, very difficult for them. Integers is still covered, at least it's still covered for me. I still definitely go back and spend a lot of time in seventh grade with it. But if they can really have those foundational skills in sixth grade, it's just going to make everything else easier. And of course, fractions is so important. I don't know where in the schooling process fractions became so scary for students. But if you can make fractions fun, easily understandable, something that they can wrap their head around, it's just going to make seventh and eighth grade and algebra so much easier. Okay, in seventh grade, it's really important for students to understand and grasp inequalities and equations. One step equations and one step inequalities is a must, obviously, before they get into multi step. And, you know, in algebra one, as they get into more difficult equations, um, having that basic knowledge of how to solve one step, one step inequalities and equations is just going to be so much easier for them and just make everything else seamless, smooth, and like they just won't be confused. And again, if your students in seventh grade are still struggling with fractions, continue to fight the good fight, make the fractions a priority in your classroom so that as they move on, it's just easier. And then in eighth grade, we wanna make sure our students are understanding linear equations because they're going to be getting into, you know, quadratics and just, graphing multiple lines and parabolas and things like that and having a good foundation of linear equations will make that jump a lot easier too and having a good grasp of just the geometry like congruence similarity there's a you know when students jump into algebra one there is a little bit of a focus on geometry and then after that they'll get into full-blown geometry so we want to make sure our students are as prepared as possible if you would like to grab my free checklist of the must teach common core standards for sixth grade, seventh grade and eighth grade, click on the button right below this video, depending on how you're watching it. And I will send this to you right into your inbox. Then you can print this checklist out, keep it on a clipboard or what you could even do is you can have your students have a copy if that is doable for you. But if not, keep on a clipboard for yourself. Keep track of these standards that you've gone through so that you know, OK, I'm hitting all of these standards and my students, despite having to skip some stuff because it happens, they'll at least I know that they've at least covered these must teach standards. Again, my name is Kathy Martin, and if you would like to grab this checklist, click the link right below this video, depending on how you're watching it and enjoy. And I will see you next time. Bye.